Okay, we're back to watching the christening of the sign nut, which is a, a proa style boat. But as history goes, the original inhabitants of Guam were the Chamorros. And there were two types of Chamorros. There were the ones that lived on the coast and the ones that lived inland. And the ones that lived on the coast were these master seafarers. And uh, when we discovered the Europeans, because we didn't need to be discovered, when we discovered them, uh, we showed them how good our boats were compared to theirs. They're slow boats compared to our fast, these are called flying proas. Uh, the original ones they saw were smaller than this. This is actually quite a large boat. And this would be used for inter-island commerce. And according to some of the older texts, in particular one uh, that was written by uh, a French officer in the 1800s which described these type of journeys, the, the knowledge eventually was lost because the Spanish took away our boats from us and said that we had to move inland. And so we lost our seafaring knowledge but it was regained through the knowledge of the Carolinians. Uh, a lot of the people who helped to build this boat are, are Carolinians, and they utilize the same technology. You notice that um, earlier in the picture I showed you that had the diagram of the Flying Pro. This is very, very similar, except for compared to that diagram, this is a lot, lot larger. Um, one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus in on, you're gonna look in the front, 33 feet long. Whereas that one in the in the diagram was probably half this size, and it didn't have the the counterbalance. You see that where they're standing? That's the area where they keep all the the uh, things like pigs and stuff for inter-island commerce. And I'm zooming into where he is at the front. That thing by his foot symbolizes a laddy stone, which is uh, specific to the Chamorros in Guam. Uh, there, there's many reasons for laddy stones. One of them, the, the larger they were, obviously they were used to build long houses. Um, the larger the, the long house was, the bigger the laddie stones, the bigger the laddie stones, the more important the house, or more important the individual that lived there, or the purpose of the house. Um, traditionally, the hut where this was built in, if you look over here, now they didn't use laddie stones in the building of this hut, but that's kind of like how they would look. And instead of laddie stones, they put posts down, because it's a canoe house, it's not for living in. You see how right now they're placing the the, the reeds on the sides to to bless. The, the, say the name of the boat again. Sina. To bless the Sina. Hi. She's on where? Oh, Ella. Ella. You ready to go? Okay. Well, I'm being summoned by the boss. Well. Doc, there was three women involved in the building of this. And they are? Ronna Paji, who is the, the uh, wife of Vice President uh, Ronna Paji. Uh, Sandy Yi, who is also the uh, Secretary Treasurer of the organization Tossi. And I'm Janet Uggen, a volunteer. And if anyone who's watching this would like to donate to the foundation, how would they do that? Uh, we are on the website, otherwise see either Doc Cunningham or any of the uh, uh, members, Frank uh, Cruz, Rana Fauci, but the best person to go to is Sandy uh, Yi, who is the Secretary Treasurer of the organization. Is there a website that they can go there to? There is a is website, but I don't know it right off the bat. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to do a, a Google search on it, because I'm sure that once I post this under on the Tossi. web, under Tossi, I'm sure that once I, I post this, it's going to be all over the web. And uh, I'm looking over here. I think I'm the only one right now that's going to be, because I'm the only one that's waterproof. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else had to put theirs away, so. I'm coming. Well, the boss said I have to go. I can't play anymore. So, bye.